this has been one of the most unusual trip of mine. Ideally, it was supposed to be a trip of me rediscovering the nature, living without my phone and whatnot. But I didn't know the story would turn out to be the story of how I almost died that day. But that part comes in the end. So stay tuned for that. And let me take you through the story from the beginning. Going through the motions, I'm dreaming of the ocean as I swim above a riverbed. Life is so fraudulent. Towel off my guilt as I shuffle through the silt. Draw a line in the sand. Wonder where I should stand. I wanted to do this for a long time. Go somewhere alone for a few days with no worries of work, no internet, and hopefully, no human interaction. But I was always scared to do it. Scared of how will my company operate without me, not responding emails on time, and much more. But I left all those things aside and did exactly what I wanted to. And you know the best part? This place rarely has any network connection on the internet. It has been something I wanted to do but didn't know I needed it so much. So, I reached this hidden hill in India. A hill very few people know about. I never knew a place like this existed in our country. My first day here began with one of the most interesting things I've ever seen. An elephant bath. I mean, it sounds pretty obvious, but I've never seen elephants take a bath. And after that, to my surprise, there was also a little bit area here which was dedicated to the army rangers who had built a DIY zipline and were gracious enough to allow me to give it a try. So, it sounded a little bit sketchy but uh, who cared. So I just gave it a try. They had few more obstacle courses which was fun enough but also made me a lot tired. So I called it a day. Day 2 began with hell lot of excitement because the idea was to trek down a cliff. But in the middle of the trek, it started drizzling a little bit. That's where the story gets weird. And on my way, I saw this gentleman with some DIY hat which the locals use to keep themselves dry during the rains. And he was gracious enough to make one for me. And the idea today was to go down the cliff and camp right next to the waterfall, brew my favorite coffee and enjoy it 300 meters above with the waterfall going down. Sounded amazing, right? That's what I thought. And it was. You can see the sights here. But you remember how I said in the starting of this video, this is also the day I almost died. The rain started to fall very heavily and the clamps on my tent started to come off loose. And that's when this strange dude sitting on a rock just shouted and said, Bhago, translate it, get the hell out of here. Me just, I was shocked, took a split second to realize what's happening, but started packing my things, grabbed whatever the hell I could and started making my way up. I literally didn't know what is happening. but. The intensity of the guy's voice definitely made me realize there's something wrong happening. And you remember in the studio tour, I told you there's a story to my broken GoPro? Well, that's exactly when it happened. I was jamming my GoPro in the bag uh, and still processing what exactly is going on. And in that process, I threw my GoPro into the metal plate of the camera and it cracked. But that was least of our worries. As I started making my way up, there were few locals who accompanied me. But due to the rains, the mud had started to become soggy and it was difficult to climb up. 
but somehow we just made our way up because of the alertness of the stranger we were able to make it back up on time because like 10 or so minutes after we reached on top the place where i was camping was 10 feet underwater the flow of water had increased so much that i am sure if i was there and once we made it on the top few locals just eased us in and and those who informed me that they have this custom of celebrating the first rain in the town where the tribals who live in the jungle come out and do a celebration and performance plus there were hardly any cemented roads there so anyway leaving the town in such heavy rain was not possible so they offered an stay over for the night to number one enjoy the performance of the locals and learn how they found happiness in the smallest of things and to end it all they had a storytelling session in the night which was one of the most beautiful sightings i've seen because the place didn't have electricity most of the nights and the fire lamps and lantern make this place look literally out of the cinema as i was listening to the story session i realized this was a trip that i wanted but i didn't know i needed it this bad and it was definitely one of the most memorable ones and that concludes my trip of how i saw the elephants bath for the first time did a little bit of adventure sports almost died and made coffee right next to a waterfall on a cliff so that's pretty interesting and that's it for today <laughs>